Bloom has been quietly working on something. Faster, smarter, sharper, and now it's ready. This is Bloom version 2.0, the upgraded, re-engineered, under the hood overall trade and bot built directly into your browser and Telegram. If you used Bloom before, you already know what it can do. But just in case you are new here, Bloom is a sniper, copier, and full suite trading tool for Solana that plugs right into Telegram and Chrome. Make sure you guys check out Bloom's documentation page also. They have a ton of information on how to use the Solana bot version 2.0. More importantly, if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see the Chrome extension. Now, in my previous video, I went over all the detail settings in this. So I'm just going to do a quick overview on the main changes. By the way, you probably want to screenshot my Bloom preset manager settings. This is the settings that work best for me. However, you can customize this any way you want. So over here, here on the scraper settings, you can set the Discord auto buy amount and you can also set the Telegram auto buy amount. I have both of mine set to 0.02. You can also skip the contract if it's previously bought. I currently have mine set to off. And we definitely have some new features over on the limit settings. Of course, you can come in here and set your limit orders the way you need it to be, as well as I believe this feature right here is new where it says only trigger when the dev sells 100% of his holdings. I'm probably going to turn this on and experiment with it a little further. Right now, just not sure how handy this feature is, but it's definitely worth checking out. So over on site preferences, everything looks pretty much the same to me. But basically, these are all the supported sites that the Bloom extension will automatically pop up on, allowing you to interact with it. For instance, we have Deck Screener and Axiom Pro on here. The most notable feature under the settings panel is the wallet settings. So this is a brand new set into version 2.0 and it's really cool. So the buy amount is divided equally across all active wallets or you can have each active wallet buy the full specified amount. So in layman's terms, if you're going to be sniping one meme coin, you probably just want to use the full amount. But if you want to be like a little Warren Buffett and have your eggs in multiple baskets, you probably want to have split amount. Really nice feature right there. And over here, this is just eye candy stuff where you can change the background color. I guess that's cool, but it's time to get to the money. Check out this cool notification when I buy this coin. Awesome, right? So this is the redesigned Bloom Solana Telegram bot. Make sure that you guys are using the K version of telegram in order for this bot to work properly as stated before this bot was redesigned from the ground up so things are moving much more efficiently here so at a glance we can view our positions we can do lp sniper copy trade which i'm going to go over in detail in a minute twitter i went over that in my last video afk mode limit orders settings referrals withdraw bridge close refresh so many things that you guys can do with this i can't cover everything in this video remember to check out the documentation page for a more detailed breakdown or you can also check out the bloom discord for some quick help but this is what i want to talk about right here copy trading i'm going to click on this and for those of you that don't know what copy trading is let me actually show you so for instance i'm over here on deck screener and what you want to do when you're on deck screener or any other platform that finds meme coins is look for something that is hot, something that is trending. So obviously just want to go to trending right here. I put mine on six hour and I found this really cool one. I think it was a cat with mask. And you see that this coin has been running for a while, which is good and bad. It's bad because most of the good trades are already gone, but it's good because it left behind some useful data. Take a look down here where it says top traders. So click on this and basically just want to see like, who made the most amount of money. So right under like PL, like this guy right here, this wallet made $103,000 in profits, 96,000 in profits, 88 in profits, 84 in profits. You kind of want to stick to these high numbers. And what you want to do is grab this wallet's address. So just scroll over here and click on this thing where it says export. Check out this successful wallet that I found. Here's a breakdown. So I'm on bird's eye right now and I'm giving you guys the blueprint, a perfect copy trade scenario. This is one of the top traders. This is his wallet address right here. So we can see that this guy 
made $24,000 today alone. The day is not even over yet. And he already made $24,000 in profits. And he did 167 trades. That's a lot of trades. So he's most likely sniping. You know, he's not doing the long-term invest in Warren Buffett thing. He's doing it in and out in minutes. So that brings us over back to our bloom bot. You need money in your wallet to do all of this. In my previous video, link below, I showed you guys how to put money in your bloom bot. Make sure you watch that video. So once you have the money in your bloom bot and you clicked on copy trade and it brings you to this setup area right here and you guys want to click on add new configuration. I'm not going to click on that because I already did that and I named mine test. So we're going to click on test and you guys could just copy my configuration. That's perfectly fine. So I just named my wallet burner you guys can name it whatever you want configuration name is test and this is my whale wallet right here you see how it ends in vq5 i go back over here on bird's eye it ends in vq5 so that's my guy that i'm watching so whoever you guys are watching you want to plug that wallet address in here just make sure that he is a successful trader though okay so i have my max buy count set to five because i'm testing right now okay that number is going to change later it will also change for you guys in the future as your account starts to grow first interaction i don't know how to explain it but if you're just starting out leave it off the only time you'd probably want to turn this on is if you're kind of i don't know maybe if you're like investing or something like that but if you just want to get in and out and you found a good whale wallet to, to track leave it off platforms click on that and it has all these platforms i'll leave every single one of them on max buy because i'm testing i just put a little bit of solana in there and i leave all of these blank because again, we're following a successful sniper. These guys obviously know what they're doing, so we don't need to worry about market cap and stuff like that. They handle all that. Follow sales, yes. Buy only once, no. Because a lot of these guys, they're buying multiple times. So for instance, our sniper might buy on this particular bar right here, and then he might buy on this particular bar also. And then he might also add to his position a few seconds later on this bar right here, or a few minutes later on this bar right here. That's why we want multiple buys buy exact absolutely not make sure that that is not checked off make sure yours is red because if you put ten thousand dollars in your account and he also has ten thousand dollars in his account but you only want to do hundred dollar trades because you're just starting out and he happens to take a ten thousand dollar position you're going to also take a ten thousand dollar position so instead what you want to do is come over here to where it says buy fixed and you just put your own in i have mine set to 0.11 sold because i'm testing so about 20 bucks or something like that buy fee i just leave it on this 0.001 same thing for the sell fee for your buy and your sell slippage you want it to be high so somewhere between 30 and 40 percent is good i leave buy protection and sell protection on auto tip that's supposed to be on i don't know why it's off it's not a big deal though blacklist is if you're like totally against the trump coin or something like that and your guy just loves the Trump coin and he's consistently buying it. While he's buying it, you won't be buying it, for instance. Yeah, I mean, and that's pretty much it. And right now I have mine on off, but once you click active, it's going. So every trade he takes, you're going to be taking those trades. So make sure if you don't want to be buying and selling, even though all of this stuff is already set up and ready to go, make sure that this is inactive. Okay. But again, once you guys already start making money, click on that active. So of course, with Bloom Solana and any other sniping bot in the world, there are fees involved. If you guys want to save on your fees, click on the link below. I can get you guys a discounted rate. So if you're familiar with Bloom, then version 2.0 is a no brainer. It's smoother, quicker, and built to handle the real traffic of Solana meme coin season. If you're new, this is your entry point. Make sure you're using version 2.0 because the old days of laggy bots are over. Catch you in the next one.